Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we are looking at the Wright Bus GB Kite Hydroliner. This is one of 20 vehicles with Metro Bus Crawley, which is part of Go Ahead Group. They are the first hydrogen fueled buses in the overall kinetic group that owns Go Ahead. So Crawley is getting a taste of the first hydrogen vehicles in the group. And these will be used on the Fastway branded services around Crawley and Gatwick and Red Hill. These new hydrogen vehicles have been funded through Jive Funding, which is a joint initiative for hydrogen vehicles across Europe, Gatwick Airport and the DFT. So at the moment, 20 of these vehicles were going into service on the 29th of June. And then a further 34 are being funded by Surrey County Council and leased back to Metrobus. Metrobus hope to have a fleet of hydrogen buses in the future. So the allocation here is about 150 vehicles. So in the coming years, they hope for that to be 100% hydrogen fueled. Right bus have used key components from Ballard and Voif for the hydroliner. Ballard supply the next generation fuel cell, which is mounted at the rear of the vehicle and the roof line. The hydrogen tanks are mounted in the center of the roof line. And then the micro vast battery is at the front on the near side of the roof line. Electric mirrors are fitted. So as you can see there, you can also see these in operation on during a test drive. On the near side rear of the vehicle, you will find the Voif electrical drive system. So you can just see that under here. In the actual what would be the engine bay there's actually very little got some air tanks and you've got your high voltage wires so as you can see this allows us the rear seats to come quite far back in the vehicle compared to a normal diesel engine vehicle. Front and rear axles are supplied by ZF and tyres are 275 70R 22.5s and they are Michelin's on this vehicle. Dual door just like the Volvos that are being replaced which are also right body. Guide wheels are also fitted. And they are for use on the section of guided busway along the route. So you've got your seating capacity there. Actually seated, you have 40 with 50 standing. 35 seated with 55 standard or 35 seated with 49 standing and two wheelchairs. Wheelchair bay on this vehicle is in the center. With three tip down seats. The wheelchair arm just there.
and a compact ramps system is fitted to the center door. Doors are by Ventura. Very smooth in operation. Got your tap on, tap off ticketer system installed. Wireless bells are by BMAC. Two areas to store luggage. Multiple CCTV camera system fitted. Air products are supplying the liquid hydrogen for fuel in these vehicles. You can just see the fueling station over there. The tall tower is where the liquid hydrogen is kept. Then you have a vaporizer next to it. Prominent Fastway branding throughout the vehicle. Passengers also have an explanation about the technology installed in these vehicles in the Coven area. So you can see on this diagram where the hydrogen tanks are and the filling point. You have your fuel cell towards the rear of the vehicle. An electric axle with two integrated motors. Explanation of how it all works. And you have the routes that this vehicle will operate on, which is a 10 and 20 service. With route 10 serving Gatwick Airport. You can just see an example of one of the right bodied Volvos that these vehicles will be replacing, parked across the way there. Same layout, dual door and single deck. You're driving a large vehicle. Please check the height marker in the cab. So looking around the cab area of the vehicle, the cab is actually quite big on this vehicle, seat goes back a long way, got a Chapman's driver's seat, adjustable steering column, it's got a new digital dash binnacle, it's very clear to see. Uh, using this toggle on the right hand side you can select various information about the vehicle H2 bar pressure, driveline temperatures, air pressure and you can return that so it's not shown you have digital mirrors Now you have new soft touch buttons for the interior lighting system and on a dashboard. Gear selection. There is cab air condition on this vehicle as well. CCTV monitor. Fire system pressure, okay. Ticket machine. And you have your you're driving a large vehicle. Please check the height marker in the cab. Vehicle inspection tablet by GDS Technology. Over to the right hand side, you've got the vehicle's master switch, door control buttons, which is one button, open and close. And got a rather nifty graphic on the dash binnacle. It appears when the door's open. 
and the same for the centre door. In terms of heating on this vehicle, there is ducting on the offside. They also have a Grayson heater box on the offside rear. do have large opening windows throughout this vehicle
So overall, I'm very impressed with this vehicle. These are a batch of 20 pioneering vehicles in the UK that are hydrogen fueled with another 34 on the way. And I expect we'll see many more in the years to come as an alternative to electric. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.